Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Wings of Love Treasures back with another video. I hope everybody's doing well today on this beautiful Friday. Um, and whoever's celebrating Easter on Sunday, happy Easter. I hope everybody has a wonderful Sunday. And I'll probably see you on Monday. Um, I'm going to see what I can get through here today. And whatever I don't get through, we'll finish it on Monday. And I want to show you some of the old jewelry that I had saved. Some sterling stuff that I put in bags. I was telling you about that I didn't mark or anything. I started marking it uh, about a year ago. And uh, I'd have to relook it up. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you what we had from the last bag. These were beautiful, beautiful cubic zirconias. Now, they weren't sterling or anything. I did test them. But they were $12. Really pretty. Okay. And then this one I think is J.C. Penney's. J.C. Collection. Yeah. It's the one that had... Uh, and I believe it is a bracelet. Or you could wear it as an anklet. It has a pretty little rhinestone L on it. And it's gold tone. And it's just beautiful. It really is pretty. Okay, and then these were sterling. Now, these aren't real pearls, but, uh, yeah, the backs are sterling, the posts are sterling, and they're beautiful. So, I don't know, you know, what brand they were, but they must have been a really good brand. And uh, beautiful faux pearls. So, those were sterling. And then this one is the White House Black Market set, and it was 36. And we have the pendant, the necklace, and the uh, earrings to match. So, very, very nice. I'm going to take that off and put that over here. And I don't think it's ever been worn. It still has the little tag on it. So, very nice. Okay, let's see what we can see. This is a box from Dayton, Ohio. I've been getting a lot of boxes from Ohio. So this is from Dayton and I have two of those. And then they sent me this past week, they sent me two boxes from Miamisburg, Ohio. So we're going to do the Ohio boxes the next couple times just to see the difference between Miamisburg and Dayton. So I see some Mardi Gras or 4th of July. I might give this to my grandson. He likes these. Look at it. It's in a little bag. He loves little bags. He's four. So we got some red, white, and blue stars. And he could wear these for the 4th of July. Yeah. I'll give those to him. Or silver. Okay. He'll like that. I'll put that aside for him. I'm going to put it back in the bag. I have bags here like this. And he's always taking them to put his cars in and marbles and you know okay then we have an earring wooden silver tone acrylic i think it's supposed to look like uh stir uh turquoise yeah that's very interesting and then we have another earring fringe oh kind of a macrame actually earring that one is dirty Oh, we have another macrame earring. This one's cool. I could wash this one. Yeah, look, it's macrame. That is cool, actually. Okay. Put that one back there. Then we have a, another earring. I thought it was a bracelet at first. Faux pearls. Uh, gun metal. Earring. And then we have a bracelet. And this looks like shell that's been dyed and painted. Yeah. And some sea beads. And it's on memory wire. Nice. Pretty colors. It's like hematite. And then we have another bracelet that is... Oh, it's got a wire inside. So it's just a bangle. I thought it was stretchy, but it's definitely got a wire inside. Silver tone. Then we have a necklace. Here's a choker. This is uh, glass, a glass bead. Yeah. 
seen lots of these. Beachwear. <laughs> That's what I always call them, beachwear. Okay, we've got a couple more bracelets. Stretchy ones. This one is wooden and acrylic, it looks like. Yes, acrylic. Good stretch. And then this one is silver tone with crosses. It's missing one of its acrylic pieces right there. But let's see how the stretch is. But the stretch is good, so yeah, I'll keep that one. Okay, and then we got a kid's bracelet. I'll give that one to my granddaughter. Okay, put that over there. Oh, look, it's a Hershey Kiss. How cute, in the foil. I love that. I love Hershey Kisses. They get me in trouble. I eat too many of them. <clears throat> and then we have another bracelet. And this one is Love This Life. Okay, and it has a heart with rhinestones on each side. I think it's supposed to be a ribbon, kind of. <clears throat> oh, this is pretty. Best Friends Forever. Oh, it's for best friends. Pretty rhinestones. Yeah, very nice. Love this life. We have another earring. And I believe that's acrylic. Yeah, acrylic. Mm hmm Very interesting. <laughs> kind of twisted. We have another earring. Leopard print. Acrylic. Post. And then we have a bracelet. 208. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's stretchy. Look, it's got like a pretty scene on it. I've never seen that before. I might look this one up. No, no. Put that back there. Oh, you have a glass ring. Oh, how pretty. Pink flower. Let's see what size it is. It's a five and a fourth. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful ring. Glass. Small, though. It is small. Oh, I forgot to show you my rings. So this is a Charrite, and these are um, Peridot and Sterling. I don't know if I've shown you this in a while. That's a seven. These are for sale. That's a seven. And then this is an amethyst and sterling. And this one is smaller. Well, it's a six and three fourths. Okay. And then y'all know that one. We got that out of a bag. And then this one is a 10. I know that. That's turquoise. And this one is signed. It's a Native American piece. And then that's a real pearl on uh, gold tone wire. You know, I've never tested this wire. But uh, I think it's just gold tone. But yeah, I will forget what size this is. It's a pretty little piece. Seven. That's a seven. Real pearl. I just liked it. I wanted to wear it today. Okay. That's the rings I'm wearing. Those are the rings I'm wearing, I should say. Okay, we got some more earrings. Wowza. Okay, we got this is a pendant, I guess. It's a little acrylic piece. Oh, actually, it feels like wood. I think it's wood. Mm -hmm. And then we have an earring that is a donut with a heart post, but it dangles. And then this is acrylic cut out. Cute. I like the green. It's a pretty green color. I hope we find that one. Oh, this is pretty. Gold tone hoop. But this one's made very nicely. Yeah. Let's make sure it's gold tone. Yeah. Okay. Very pretty. It's in great condition. Oh, we have some little post acrylic flowers on a card. Those are adorable. Okay. Got, I think this is a belt. I'm going to get this out of here. I can. Oh, my goodness gracious. Alive. <clears throat> oh, my. Okay. Got a belt. 
L. And this is stuck in here. Okay. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, this looks like a belt. Okay, this goes all the way around. Wow. Some of the gold tone is wearing off. So I'm going to put this in a craft lot. And, oh, look at the lion. That's super cool. I'm going to take this lion off of here. My husband is a Leo. I'm going to put the belt in the craft lot. But the lion's staying with me. Okay, well, I'll take it off in a minute, then put this in the craft lot. <laughs> okay, it's pretty tight. It did want to come off. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. Nice, look at this one. So it goes and it hooks here. Yeah, that's nice. Needs a pendant. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if it's sterling. Oh, it's picking up. Yeah. I like this, though. This is nice. Okay. Oh, we have a Christmas bell. I like this Christmas bell. Wait, this chain looks sterling. It's attached to it. But we'll look at the Christmas bell first. It may not be. Hi. Okay. Christmas bell. I give that to my granddaughter too. She can wear it at Christmas time. Green. Or my grandson. His favorite color is green. They have so much jewelry. Oh yeah, this looks sterling. Yeah, it is. 925. It's right there. Okay. I think this is an anklet. Yeah. It has an L on it. Sterling anklet with an L. It has a little heart. Okay. So I will test it. It's a very nice piece. Okay. All right. We have another earring, gold tone, and acrylic. All right. And we have a coconut shell bracelet or anklet, just depending on what size you are. With a barrel clasp. Okay. Oh, we have a bracelet. And this is good for um, jewelry making. I'm going to put this in a craft lot. So maybe somebody wants to make some jewelry with it. And then we have an acrylic earring. Post. Iridescent. Or some shiny. Oh, we have a glass bead necklace blue and green and it is double it is a double necklace okay Let's see if I can get this hooked I've got to get my nails done they've grown out so much the acrylic and the paint so don't look at them <laughs> I've got to do them before Monday okay that's pretty Mm -hmm. Kind of a rosary link, and they're glass with a lobster claw clasp. Those are nice. Okay. We have a, a pearl necklace, and that's pretty. And these are acrylic, and they're not knotted in between. So, I'll show you the length. Oh, look, they're, they're a dollar. <laughs> that's what the card says. And it has a, a spring ring clasp, and that's the length on them. So, very nice. They're acrylic. I don't know if I said that. Okay, we have another bracelet, which I'll give to my granddaughter. She'll have two. Nice. Okay, these are little rubber bands. Bracelet, and... Uh, I might save these for me. Sometimes I need these little size rubber bands to use on packages. Oh, look, we have this one. So we have a match to those. Post and they are acrylic. Nice. They're lightweight too, which is nice. 
Okay, look, we have a pen, a brooch. Oh, is it missing the stone in the middle? I'm going to fix this one. I might put a different color in there. Yeah, because that's very pretty. It's just missing that one. Oh, it can be a pendant too. See the bail? Okay, nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to fix that one. Oh, a butterfly. And this is gold tone with a spring ring clasp. And I think it says Korea. Yes. And this looks like a opal, but I believe it is glitter in there. Now, sometimes back in the day, they would use gold tone and put real stones in there. I don't believe that's a real stone. Mm-hmm. I think it's just like foil in the back with glass over top. Yeah, it's pretty though. Little butterfly. <clears throat> okay, wow, we have so many bracelets. Oh, we got a knot. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this knot. Look at that. Okay, we're going to put that aside. This is all caught up in there. And uh, I will get that out later. Okay, here's another bracelet. This is uh, Alex and Ani. Oh, this is cute on like a memory wire. Let's see. And it's got these little squares. That's very cute. Now, I don't believe this one's sterling. No. <laughs> Very nice, though. I'll look that one up. I've never seen one with these little cubes. I've seen one with, you know, different things on it and stones, but I haven't seen one like that. Okay, we have a magnetite, one of those bracelets or necklaces. You could use them for either. And uh, this one's pretty. Oh, it's got beautiful, uh, like, iridescent. A B coating on these. Yeah, that one's pretty. I like it. Okay. Nice. Very nice. All right. What is this? Silver tone. We've got a silver tone. No, gold tone. Gold tone hoop, and it's different from that one. So put that back there with that. And then we have a bracelet. Oh, this is uh, on a chain. They're balls on a chain. And it is Premier. I believe, yeah, Premier. And maybe Gold Tone. Let's see. Yeah, they pick up. But it's pretty. It's heavy, too. Like, it's substantial. So, very nice bracelet. All right. We'll look that one up. Oh, we got a ring. We got a silver tone ring. I'm pretty sure it's silver tone. Let's see what size it is, and then I'll look at it. Um, It's almost an, oh, it's an eight, and it's a crown. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't see any markings in it. Oh, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. And it says 925, I believe. But I'll look at it better. Nice little crown ring. Sterling. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll check that one. Then we have a post earring. Pretty little rhinestone. Okay, what are these? Something in a bag. Oh, these are pretty. These are glass. The top ones are glass. And this is acrylic on gold tone. Well, if I can. There we go. Yeah, those are pretty little earrings. Huh? What do they have in a bag? But we'll put them back in the bag. Because they're in good condition. That way they'll just stay in good condition. 
Okay. All right. I see a leather bracelet. Huh. Yeah. Nice little brass snap. And this is real leather. The end doesn't have a name on it. I like that one. Okay. Let me wear that a while. Oh, then we have a lapel pen. No name on it. And it's Christmas. Holly's. Holly with a bow. Green bow. Oh. What is this one? Oh, it's a watch. You have a watch. And what does that say? Peck. Let me see. Peck and peck. Never heard of peck and peck. So it's a bracelet watch and it has a purse and glasses, enamel, and another purse and a shoe with a lobster claw clasp. I'm going to look this up. Peck and peck. All right. We have an earring, enamel. Yeah. And silver tone. Kind of looks like pewter, but it's not. I see another a vintage necklace with a shepherd's hook. And this one is in excellent condition. Let's see, what does this say? Monet! Look at that. Look at that drop in the back. Hmm. Monet, it is in wonderful condition. The gold in between is not peeling or chipping or coming off or anything. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Okay, we have an earring. This one is uh, white and blue. Okay, post, but it's articulated. And then we have a silver, let's see, nope, silver tone earring. This is in great condition, too. This is nice. Yeah, it's so funny because it looks like sterling. It really does. That's amazing. Okay. All right, we have a grab up. Uh, I was going to say a glass bracelet, but these look like amethyst. Now, these look like glass amethyst, but I'm not sure. These could be something else. Quartz, this one right here, doesn't look like glass. So I'll check these out. These are definitely amethyst. And then there's a blue one, and that may be blue topaz. Yeah, that's very pretty. Okay. Good stretch on it, too. That's nice. I'm going to check that one out. Okay, we have a gold tone earring, and it is a clip-on. Okay. <clears throat> we have another gold tone earring. That one's pretty. These are in great shape. And this one is a screw back clip on. This one has a name on it. Let me see what this says. This one says Napier. This is Napier. Oh, I hope we find that one. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have another clip on. Wow, a little button, gold tone button. Earring clip on. And this is. Uh, Monet. Nice. Get some nice earrings. Monet. Okay. I see a necklace that I believe is a teething ring. And if so, I'm going to put it in the trash. Okay. Yeah. I think the, this was a teething ring. It's Charming Charlie's. It's, uh, so they make these and they're kind of rubbery and the kids will chew on them, uh, on their mom's necklaces. 
Sometimes they have ones that are long and they have a little piece on it. I don't know if Charming Charlie made it those, though, for the kids for teething. Uh, the mom could wear the necklace, and when they're holding them, they could just chew on their necklace. So I'll look it up. Um, this may not be one of those. This may just be a rubbery necklace with silver tone spacers. <laughs> so I'll see. Okay. All right. But I will look it up. I'm going to put it aside so I can look it up. All right. Then we have a copper bracelet cuff. And it looks like somebody made this one. Yeah. I mean, like, handmade it. Oh, there is something on the inside here, which I cannot read. Let me see if I can see it with the light, the uh, magnet. No. It does say something, but it's so old I can't see it. Okay, copper bracelet. Very nice. We have a gold tone and black bangle. This stuff's in really good condition. Very nice. Oh, we have another uh, hematite bracelet. This one's small. Look how little this one is. Oh, necklace. You can wear it as a necklace. Or a bracelet. Yeah. It would just be two. Look at that. Very nice. Okay, two of those. Oh, we have another bracelet. These look like uh, Mother Pearl. And sea beads. Yeah, let's see how the stretch is. Oh, great stretch on that one. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. We have another necklace. This is a uh, faux pearl and silver tone. This one's in good condition, too. Let's see if I can't hook it. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty on a chain. Very nice. Chain parts in good condition and the uh, the faux pearls are in good condition. Yeah. No name on that one though. Okay, here's another there's a gold tone necklace with green gold tone. These are acrylic. And it's long. You could probably double it. No, it doesn't have a clasp. Okay, no clasp. Can't double this one. So this is what this would look like. And the length. Okay. Yeah, pretty, pretty uh, gold color. Oh, I see a gold necklace I want to get out. This is pretty. It has a lobster claw clasp. And... This is a beautiful chain. This is gorgeous. Yeah, this is in great condition. These are acrylic. They're supposed to look like stones. But we'll do this. I will double this one because it does have a hook. Lobster claw clasp. And you could double this one. Or wear it long. Yeah. This one's in great condition too. Very pretty. And it doesn't have a name on it. Hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, nice. Okay, then we have a bracelet. It has uh, little rings and some faux pearls. Good stretch, and it dangles. Very cute. Oh, and it has little, um, these acrylic. Yeah, a little acrylic uh, faceted cut balls there. That's pretty. Very nice. All right. And I found another bracelet. It's real leather. And it has an anchor on it, a brass anchor. That one's pretty. I like I like leather bracelets. 
copper bracelets, leather bracelets. Here's another bracelet. Oh, this is the ocean for the ocean. They sell these, I think, um, to help keep the ocean clean. Yeah. And this one has a wire in it, I think. Yeah, it's kind of bendy. Oh, probably an anklet, I would say. Right? Blue. This one's blue. Okay. Oh, I see another gold tone necklace. Ooh, nice. Look at this one. Vintage. Oh, let's get this out. Got an earring. Okay, vintage. Uh, Saracob, I betcha. Let's see. That looks like a Saracob tag. Sarah Coventry. Yeah. Okay. Lobster, uh, spring ring clasp. Yeah, this is a vintage one. This is long. So we got the pieces up here. Let's move these over. Hold on. Turn the way. Okay. There we go. All right. And then this is the length. Very long. Beautiful. I think these are aluminum. Which is nice because it's very lightweight. These are acrylic. Beautiful chains. Gorgeous color. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, let's see if we could do this. I'm going to double it. Just to show you what it would look like doubled. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll look that one up. All right, we have another bracelet, and this is a uh, gold tone. It is kind of a meshy stretch. And then, oh, we have a button bracelet. Look, somebody put uh, buttons on this cotton cord. That is so funny. I like these buttons, though. They're pretty. <laughs> Oh my, if you had a jacket, that would look nice on a jacket. Mm-hmm, that's funny. I may keep those. You never know when you need a button. Okay, I see a lot of bracelets and earrings. Okay, we have another earring. Oh, okay. And... This is Alex and Ani. Very nice. K. My granddaughter's name starts with a K. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. I wonder if that's sterling. We'll check it. Oh, this is pretty. These are crystals. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Yeah, those are crystals. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I hope we find that one. That one's beautiful. Yeah, this might be sterling. This is not, <laughs> but it's still gorgeous. Oh, I hope we find this one. Okay, and we will test this one and look for the mate. All right. Oh, an earring. And this has a, it's a heart. And it has, no, it just, it's little flowers with enamel on it. I just painted on there. That's cute. If I don't find the match, that would be cute as a pendant. Mm -hmm. I like that shape of the heart. Oh, this one. This one's in there. Um, toggle clasp, hematite. These are probably halite dyed red to look like coral. Yeah, and then we have a starfish. It's a bracelet. Very nice. Oh, where's my, no, I don't see any markings on it. And this definitely is not sterling. It's not picking up, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, copper. Yeah, it's copper underneath there. Okay. All right. Wow, we have so many little pieces down here, guys. This is going to be a whole video in itself. Oh, we have a silver tone lobster claw uh, necklace with keys. So we got a big key. Oh, how's it go? This way? 
We have a big key. They're all silver tone, a medium key, and a small key. Mm -hmm. Papa, Mama, Baby. <laughs> okay. It goes like that. It's on a nice chain, too. I like these Rolo chains. All right. No name on that one. Okay. Key necklace. Oh, we have a pearl necklace, a little baby pearl necklace. Oh my gosh, it's sterling. Yes, it's sterling. It says right there. And I'm giving this to my brand new baby granddaughter. I just got in December. Okay, I was looking for a keepsake for her and this would be perfect. Now, I don't think that these are real pearls. No. But it is super cute. I like that. Look how little it is. Oh, I'll test that. Make sure the hook is sterling. Oh, here's another. Is this a necklace? No. Okay, Shambhala style closure here on the end. And it's a bracelet. It's a bracelet, gold tone, and it moves. So look, this moves. Well, there, see? What does that say? Love, laughter, and loyalty. Okay, and then let's see what this says. I think this is tangled. Okay, that's how you do it. So you can make it bigger or smaller right there. Let's see. But I wanted to see what these said. I guess the name of the company who made it. Let me look. Yes, it is. But what does it say? La La, La DK or Lulu. DK? I'm not sure. So I'll look this one up. Pretty little bracelet. Okay. I'll look it up. And then we have some more bracelets. Holy Toledo on the bracelets, guys. We have a vintage bracelet. We've got another one of these. We've got a ton of these. Okay, so we have another one of these. I'll put that in the craft lot. Somebody want to make a bracelet with it? Get two of those. And then these are vintage. I can just tell. Yeah, vintage bracelets. They're held together right there in the middle. And there's two skinny ones on the outside, two bigger ones on the inside. Silver tone. Then we have another gold tone mesh bracelet. Or that last one was... Oh, it's already all stretched out. This one doesn't stretch anymore. So that'll go on a craft lot. And then, oh, this one's pretty. Look at that. Gold, uh, silver tone. And that's that rubbery stuff. It feels rubbery. Yeah, I like that though. Wish I had a bunch of these. I'd be pretty with like five of them. Okay, we have another bracelet. And this one, I am blessed is turning copper and here's the closure and it says blessed and it's just a little bangle so i'm gonna put this in a craft lot maybe somebody wants to use their pen on it make it all brand new again oh i found a an acrylic bracelet and okay first i'll show you the necklace this is a uh, spring ring clasp, gold tone. These are acrylic, wait. Okay, they have gold specks, but I think that they did that to make it look like stones because I'm pretty sure they're acrylic. They're not lapis. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. 
with the gold tone. Just beautiful. And then I know this doesn't go with it, but this is acrylic. It has gold tone balls in the middle. Will it look pretty together though? And it has a lobster claw clasp. I mean a spring ring. And this doesn't say anything either. So you could wear that together. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, but I don't think that these are, you know, these are definitely acrylic. It's funny, though, because, look, they put the gold specks in it to make you think it was lapis. <laughs> they did a good job. Okay. Nice little set. All right. Then we have a black necklace. Hmm. Yeah. Uh glass or these glass can't tell oh what is wrong with this okay this is all tangled in itself all right these are acrylic these are acrylic and there's quite a few there's four strands of it so i'll i'll fix it yeah four strands and then it's got a glass piece that hangs in the middle but i'll have to untangle it from itself Okay, my untangle pile. We have a brooch that someone made. Here's the back. And they used clock pieces, watch pieces. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Very cool brooch. Okay, we have another bracelet. What does this one say? This says, beautiful girl, you can do hard things. Oh, <laughs> it's silver tone. And here's the closure. And what does the other side say? Oh, plunder. It's a plunder piece. Okay, I'm going to look that one up. That, this part looks like stainless steel. I don't know if this part is too. It doesn't say, but it does feel like it. Let's see. Well, yeah, it's not sticking. Yeah, I think the whole thing is stainless steel. Beautiful girl, you can do hard things. Hmm. Okay, what is this? We have another... Bracelet, gold tone with a gold tone ball stretch. And then we have a bracelet. These are hematite. And that is leather. And I think it probably wraps around three times. Yeah, this one's pretty. I'm going to wear it. If somebody wants it, of course you can have it. But, uh... I think I'll wear it for a while until somebody asks me for it. I like these. I have a turquoise one. I bought a long, long time ago. It wraps around. Okay, we have another bracelet that says Survivor. Okay, and this looks like stainless steel. This is the Mantra bracelets. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, we have a brooch. That's pretty. Gold tone. Brooch. And it has a name on it. What does this one say? Oh, let me look at it. Avon. Oh, this is a pretty little Avon piece. Avon brooch. I like that one. All right, then we have a pendant. Is this Leah Sophia? Blues, there's all different kinds of blues on silver tone and it's a pendant. And Leah Sophia. All right, pretty. Oh, look, we have a ring. It is a bird, it's a parrot. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is with all his rhinestones. 
or she. And I think all the rhinestones are there. Yes, they are. Let's see if it has a name in it. There's no name in it. Okay, we gotta see what size it is. It's a nine and a half. It's a parrot, y'all. I've never seen one like this. That is super cool. Okay, I'm gonna look at that one. It's not surly or anything. I just want to. I've never seen one. Okay, we have. We have another necklace. This one has a fold over clasp, silver tone, cat eye. Brown or peach cat eye. Peach, I think. If I can get it straightened out, it's all wonky. There we go. Ah. I am just not. I keep getting it messed up. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> I'm going to hook it over here so I don't mess it up again, which I already have. I've already got it twisted again. There we go. Okay. That's very nice. Cat eye. Okay. It's kind of a peachy color. Yeah. I don't see any names on this one. It's in great condition, though. Yeah, no, not on that one. Cool. Okay, silver tone, cat eye. Okay, guys, there's a ton of little teeny tiny things in here, like earrings and all kinds. I mean, a t here, I'll show you. Look, it's going to taste. take me at least another, I don't even know, you know, 35, 40 minutes to go through. So we'll do that on the next video. And I will also show you some silver, uh, sterling silver stuff I have from when I first started, like my first three videos, four videos, okay, that I have in bags upstairs. I'll get them out and show them to you. And we'll go through the rest of this stuff. Okay, have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye, guys. Mwah.